What's going on guys? So today we're going to be showing you this brand new floor plan that has been recently released from Keystone Avalanche featuring a king bed in the front, private bunk room in the back, an outdoor kitchen, three air conditioners, and of course now standard on all Keystone products is the new Solar Flex 200. So not just solar prepped, this one here is going to be solar ready. We are going to start on the inside of coach first, going over its different features before we head outside. So if you're new here, we welcome you to the channel. Continue to show your support by leaving your feedback in the comments section below on the different makes and models that we show you. And let's get started. So we are going to start on the inside first, but I want to go over some of the numbers before we do head inside. Camper is going to be 13 feet, 2 inches to the highest point. 39 feet 8 inches of total length unloaded vehicle weight of 11,940 pounds gross vehicle weight rating of 15,500 riding on 7,000 pound axles g-rated tires and you've got 2,949 pounds of cargo capacity so with that being said you're going to be sending over right at 2,600 pounds for hitch weight on this brand new 2022 keystone avalanche Model number 352BH. The BH does stand for bunkhouse. Camper's got a private bunk in the rear, a king bed in the front, two total slide outs. Let me get this door closed to cut down some of the noise. Here you so take number 10. It's really hard to find the absolute perfect angle to show you how unique this living room setup is. Unless I'm just holding the camera walking straight through and possibly coming all the way over here to the ceiling. Two total slide out sleeping room, possibly for eight or nine individuals. And I think I just shook you guys all around. But the way the floor plan is set up, it's different, it's unique. You've got the U-shaped dinette with a sleeper sofa sitting directly in front of the television, which by the way, that is on the televator. So that will go up and down, exposing that nice big window found out behind it. Plenty of cabinet space as well. And speaking of cabinets, when it comes to the Avalanche model, your cabinet doors and your pull-out drawers will be solid wood. Kitchen kind of tucked off nicely here in the corner, giving you plenty of prepping space. And all the window treatments will be black roller shades. Some of them will even have the valance found on both sides, creating a total blackout. Standard size RV oven made by Furion, stainless steel. This camper does have the three burners on the top and in relation to size for that burner, there's my hand. Maybe room for a pan of biscuits and so forth. And of course that matching pull out drawer for all of your larger pots and pans. One thing I wish they would have improved on would be this backsplash. I think it would be really nice if they would have maybe brought it around in front of this kitchen sink. Because me personally, when washing dishes, I do tend to sling water absolutely everywhere. I know I'm not the only husband out there that does that and your wife fusses at you. Glass accent on some of the cabinet doors and those do have the soft closed latches. And I forgot to point out your microwave. Insignia microwave. This is not a convection. Coming around to this all electric fireplace that does produce right at 5,000 BTUs of heat. But if you don't camp in the winter, you can turn the heat off and just utilize the lights to assist your guests with who may be sleeping inside of the living area here. And I will lay flat the U-shaped dinette, plus pull out the sleeper sofa closer towards the end to show you exactly how much walk around space you'll have. And let me show you the televator found over here. And by the way, we're in relation to where we're at in the camper. Next to the entry door, a little cool switch that just lets this elevator, excuse me, the televator takes the television down, closing it off, giving you some additional counter space. So if you don't want the television, up and out of the way it goes giving you this really nice big window you do have a let me get over here closer to it the sun's messing with my eyes a little bit jensen radio with zones a b and c so you got speakers inside plus in the master bedroom outside as well and let me show you this absolutely enormous slide almost seven feet tall in your avalanche models with the slide boxes six foot ten to be exact and this one here is going to be outfitted with this u-shaped dinette avalanche gives you the option though to replace the dinette with theater seats 
We felt as though it might be a little bit strange having just the theater seats here plus the seat for sofa and no table. So tell us in the comments below. Let us know what you think would be more appropriate, what you like. Coming now standard on this Avalanche is going to be three air conditioners. Two 15 case found in the bedroom plus one more additional 13.5 just for the living area and while we're there. Take a look at the crown molding. But three air conditioners for a camper of 39 feet, almost 40 feet is perfect. That's really where you want to be at. Back around though, let's take a look at this Samsung refrigerator. All electric, this does work off an inverter while going up and down the road, keeping your goods nice and cold. You got the fridge on the top, freezer on the bottom, and that's still sealed up, so I'm not gonna attempt to grab that. And this is the valance. Let me show you the valance on these windows over here creating a total blackout so black roller shades all found all the way throughout and you do have 80 percent tint found on all the frameless windows as well and let's go up the stairs and show you the controls so you do have three air conditioners on board two of them for the back bunk plus your living room are found here in the hallway just your old standard analog standard pretty much thermostats all the controls for your fan, your awning switches, slide out operations, your light switches, everything found nicely, neatly organized. Here's center located in the coach. Let me show you this really awesome bedroom. King size bed and just look at the wardrobe on the front. You have a hanging closet to the left and to the right, but one really unique thing, that's how they give this here. Maybe a pretty cool place, maybe to hide some jewelry if you're out and about the campground pull out drawers as well but just look at all the additional storage you've got lots and lots of store space and they've done this because the fact the bed being in the slide mechanism that it is you no longer have the storage under the bed coming around to this king size bed with a shelf on the left so if you have a CPAP you do have room and your 110 outlets are going to be located underneath the mattress on both sides Kind of a raised headboard and plenty of room sliding door and just be mindful whenever you are in transit to make sure this isn't locked in the back position this whole entire wardrobe slide notice the trim that's your slide that's your washer and dryer condition so the whole entire thing will be moving in whenever you're in transit Coming around, we got five more additional pull-out drawers, television connections, maybe for a 32-inch television could be mounted to the wall. And that's the third, or one of the three air conditioners there by Coleman Mock. And one really cool thing too to point out is the additional storage found on this really nice bench. Maybe a place for the husband's shoes, or even a place just to sit down whenever you're getting dressed in the morning. And talking about an absolutely beautiful bathroom, ceiling height, in here once you're in the shower of six foot three you do have that additional skylight provided if you are taller than that 34 by 34 full radius shower plus check out that additional seat for the ladies right at about a four maybe five inch step up to get into the bathroom shower and one really cool thing is that they brought the washer and dryer connections from the front closet that you typically find on your traditional fifth wheels into this wardrobe slide now the downside of course is by moving it you're only going to be limited to a combo unit which will wash and dry your clothes but one thing that is a positive by shrinking the front closet down about eight inches allows the manufacturer to shift everything that way closer to the front giving you additional walking space also here in your bathroom giving you plenty of changing room camper's gonna have a porcelain foot flush toilet Plus that additional cabinetry found over the toilet as well. Coming around, let me take a look and show you your vanity. Bathroom vanity, and notice that yellow sticker. That's one of the few outlets that is included in that inverter loop. Medicine cabinet. We're gonna go ahead and change the living room into its full sleeping arrangement. So sit tight. So I've gone ahead and turned the living room into its full sleeping arrangement to show you exactly how much walk around space you'll have. In relation to size, the sleeper sofa opens up to be about the size of a full size bed and the dinette will lay flat to be about the size of a twin. Six foot three to be exact on the length. But coming all the way to the back of the coach where you have your own private bunkhouse area, 
providing you a sleeping room, possibly for four, maybe even five individuals, just really depending on the size of your guest. The bunk here to the left, you got right at six foot three long, four feet wide, and just look at this, television connections provided, possibly for one really extremely large television, making a teenager or just any sibling in general extremely happy to call this their bunk area. One really unique pass-through compartment leading to the outside. Maybe a cool place to place a hamper for all of your dirty clothes. And you certainly have your share of storage with four different pull-out drawers in the cabinet space with this hanging closet as well. But a date and time of making the video, MSRP on this coach of $95,650. For pricing and availability, I always leave a link in my description taking you back to my website where you can view more additional photos as well. If you happen to find yourself there and this camper is not available, I also leave an email link with possibly a phone number so you can reach out to me with all of your questions or comments, but please leave them in the comments section down below. If this is where you end your video and you're not interested in seeing what's on the outside, we greatly do appreciate you guys sticking around this long. Continue to show your support by leaving comments and your feedback on each model that we show you. But coming at you 39 feet, eight inches of total length with two total side outs is this 2022 Keystone Avalanche. Model number 352BH. The BH, as we already know, stood for bunkhouse, providing you a sleeping room for eight, maybe nine individuals. Camper's gonna be 13 feet, two inches to the highest point. 100 inches wide unlike some of the other competitors which are only 96 inches wide but here in the front of the coach you got a fully molded fully painted fiberglass front cap with that automotive gray windshield and look how far back they bring the seam on the coach allowing for the wind and the rain when you're in transit to pass right over road armor trail air king pin on the front you do have the bigger bushing preventing it from chucking when you're starting and stopping LED docking lights and speaking of docking you also have this reflective surface to assist you 2600 pounds on your kingpin way here generator prep that's what that front storage compartment is there and this coach is going to be level from a six point hydraulic leveling system and I really like when the manufacturers place all the controls within direct line of sight of the kingpin that way you're not reaching through the compartment just to press the control while keeping eyesight on that kingpin in the front as it raises or lowers off of your vehicle. Camper's gonna be sitting on a 10 inch I-beam construction and the bigger slide in the back is gonna be a rack and pinion slide and the bedroom slide with a wardrobe here. That is gonna be an electric slide. Coming around to the main side of coach we have two electric awnings. The front one is 17 feet and the one in the back is right at 11. Camper's gonna be outfitted with frameless windows. You can order this coach with a thermal pane window, but you would lose the frameless window look for more of a framed style. And talking about one thing that I like is the entry door height. I'm a little bit taller at six foot two, and you got an entry door of six foot four, right at 30 inches wide. And it does have a friction hinge prevents it from swinging back causing damage to the side of your coach over 200 cubic feet of heated basement on this model dimensions you're probably looking at right at four feet wide by three and a half feet tall and there's a shot of some of the beams on the construction blindside camera prep for diff three different cameras you got one on each of the blindside markers plus one on the back wall lippard steps with a bigger platform at the top making it easier to get in and out compared to a smaller step there g-rated tires and the suspension has been upgraded with the new road armor trailer suspension between that and the kingpin in the front you're gonna have quite a nice ride and notice the leveling jacks from the rear and the middle for a six point hydraulic leveling system outdoor camp I don't know if you call this a kitchen or an entertainment. You're missing the grill. No LP disconnect found underneath the skirting as well. So that's one thing I wish they'd improve on with maybe adding a retractable grill here, losing the store space and maybe just having that for storage. 32 inch TV with a smaller miniature fridge. 
and you do have this IRB technology radio for outside speakers which are located behind the television there coming around to the back you have a two inch receiver more exterior storage plus your power connections are back here as well blindside camera prep that's what that puck looking system is way up there rear mounted ladder with 250 pound low capacity there and on the inside i showed you that pass-through hamper compartment that's what this net here is for as i rip it down i just came loose we'll put that back up momentarily tell me down below what you think of that i mean i probably should edit that out but i'm probably not 300 pound low capacity on the on the two inch receiver on the back coming around you got sewer connections with two different ports back on the back you have a gray and the handle was tucked underneath the skirting there and that's primarily for all your kitchen and back around here you've got your main one with your sewer gray and black again here in front of the tire that's what that is avalanche has also provided you with this nice little pvc pipe to store all of your sewer lines once you're finished camping gray handle and black handle pool handles located inside of this water management area this is where the water lines will come up through the floor connecting to your city water connection or if you're doing a winter guard system maybe winterizing your camper for the winter that's where it'll be done at and this is the 10 gallon gas or electric hot water heater and this coach is going to have two 30 pound propane bottles located on one side so continue to show your support by leaving your comments what you think about this new 2022 model bunkhouse like subscribe leave us some thumbs up they definitely do help come see us